Yeah, go for it. Would you describe what's happening there in a chord voice scene? To me, this is the most fun stuff because uh, it's it's very easy to use, but it's also it's also very comprehensive in how it's laid out in it, in its simplicity. So, modal jazz it, it works modally. You know, uh, this other stuff we've been talking about up till now: a, a dominant seven chord here, and a dominant seven chord here, a dominant seven chord here. These are changes. These are key changes because. There's only one dominant seven in each key. You can't have four dominant sevens in one key, right? They're all the Mixolydian fifth mode of one key or another. And they're moving, you know, they move that way. That's, that's how gospel music and jazz are composed. But when Miles Davis came along, he wanted something to be more palatable for his audience. And uh, he, took all, he took the major scale of whatever key came up with a formula if you take the one the, the three and like the major seven for starters for a voicing out of each he added the major and a minor seven with that formula right that's kind of how you get 